Hello, my name is Norman Hill. My wife and I host Hill's Light Show in Searcy, Arkansas. I'm wanting to show today uh, a new product that I've worked out on making. It's called the Mega Pusher. For those of you that have been seen the videos in the past, this is going to be the Pixel Pusher that I made in the past, which is mainly just for strips. It can be used for either square nodes or for bullet nodes to uh, push strips with. That's all it's for. So I wanted to get something else that was going to be used for matrix or core props, things like that, especially using 10 millimeter. So what I came up with, and it's taken a long time to design, is this product right here um, on Thingiverse. It's free to use. Anybody wants to get it and download it and show it. But there's several things that need to be uh, shown to you how it works and how it's made so you get important details of it. One of the important things is, is this part right here has to slide back and forth, but it cannot rotate because if it rotates, it does not want to work right. So what I, I found was I found this on Amazon. It's going to be a curtain rod. And I cut off each end of the curtain rod using the Dremel tool. But it has this slot here that allows it to slide back and forth because it locks in place. This slot causes it to lock in place. Next thing is going to be, I ended up printing these here, which will make things a lot easier. I, I started off using, trying to drill holes in the board. This is a one by six board that's 30 inches long. That's where I started off with. The hole did not work that well. Print this part here. Key thing is from here to this distance right here is 25 inches. So I made it so it's 25 inches. This allows you to work from here to here with 24 inch clearance which will get up to a four foot in diameter or four foot wide matrix. Um, whenever you're working with that however long it doesn't matter how long it gets. So we're going to show how this product works. I've also got these black mark right here that shows so when I get too far out then I can realize I've gone too far before I get to pull it out of the, the tube here. To start off with we're going to use the matrix. This one here is going to be um, Gilbert Engineering what I've, what I've got here. This here is a .95 on center holes. There's also uh, templates for one inch holes. So I'm going to use .95 holes right now to work with. We're going to put this in here. The way it works is you're going to line it in. I use basically the center of it. The other holes are just to keep everything lined up. The center is where you want to use. You can go back and forth with this here. It has some movement. You go too far, you'll break the tower. So I don't want to go too far with it. So we'll start off with this here. This is where I'm at on the matrix. Another thing you need to be aware of is use bright colors. When I started off, I made this color here. It does not show through easily. You can't see it. The bright colors you can see and know where to line up at. So go ahead and put it in, line it up, drop it in, it locks into place. And you just push pixels. One of the keys to pushing pixels, you want to make sure that these here are, are flat out. Um, let me show you one other thing before I start off too far down the road. For those of you that might use a um, frame that's made out of a 2 by 4 there's also the senior model of the tower. You can use the senior model tower. It uses the same pieces here. These things slide in. This is the extension for the senior. Just adds an extension to it. Makes it longer so it'll work for the taller, taller tower. You have a zero millimeter which would be working with um, a matrix that has no height to it. Then you're going to have the four, which would be like four millimeter. You also have a square pusher, which can be used. It just inserts into and can push squares. I've not done a lot of squares. It does work, but it's not what I favor. My favorite is going to be the 10 millimeter. So we'll start off pushing some 10 millimeter in here. So when you push a 10 millimeter coral, what you're going to do is you're going to want to make sure that these here are flat because when you put it in, it doesn't go to the bottom. You don't put any tension on the wires. There's actually a gap there on the wires. There's a slot inside here where this lines up and it pushes on the edge of the bullets where it pushes at. So you put it in, you want to line it up. You just push them in. One more time. 
for the most part. Every now and then you'll have one that is not centered on, on the epoxy here and it's off to the side. It makes it hard to put in, but it will line up officially. You have to work with it a little bit to get it put in. It'll go in and you can push them in. Slide down when you need to go to another area. That's how you use the mega pusher on a matrix. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the Mega Pusher on a coral prop. So using the Mega Pixel Pusher on coral props, what I've done here is, this is the original design I worked on originally with. These are one inch spacing holes here. I have the same thing as these here and one inch spacing for those that use one inch spacing. But for the coral, you're going to have to have the one inch spacer because the one inch spacer requires to have this piece right here and it just goes on there where you're going to put it, it doesn't really matter lock it in place next thing you want to do is find where your center is at make sure you get everything flat and centered out once you get it flat and centered out get a piece of tape in my case I use painter's tape right here something that can be removed and take this off here so that it stays in place you don't want this to move you want it to be locked in place next thing is get your prop in this case we're going to use a snowflake and we're going to use the same, same process as before put your pixel in here what I do on these here is I put a pixel in I use my finger to hold the pixel in place line it up, push it in just go to the next hole that's how you push in a coral prop it can be used on the 10 millimeter props you've got number four which we use on four millimeter props coral props goes up to a four foot diameter because you have from here to here you're going to have up to four feet or 24 inches you can go here which allows you four feet just make sure if you have to go that far you pull this out to the far end out here to go four feet get a line in place there I have it just down here for right now this easily moves whatever you got to do as far as distance wise only one hole the reason why I have one hole is in the process of testing and, and developing this. You have more than one hole, whenever you go to push, the pixel in here, the ones around it, will get pushed back out. So I have to go with one hole. Uh, there's no even spacing on these things on, on props, so just one hole there. And then you'll have your mega pusher to push in the coral prop. This works great with 10 millimeter coral. Easier on my hands. So I hope this will help somebody out.